Over the weekend, I received an email that was quite challenging. It was uh, criticizing how I do online marketing. And there are some relevant points in the email. And uh, I'm going to do a special video. Well, my, uh, probably my next video, one of my next videos is going to be uh, about the contents of that email and what my thoughts are about it. And um, yeah, uh, but in this video, I want to address the overall idea of how to respond to online criticism because when you start sharing your message and being your authentic self on the internet, uh, when your audience gets big enough, you will start getting more and more online criticism. So are you ready for that? Uh, it is the price to pay for having your message touch more people, honestly. Uh, and thankfully, the amount of online criticism is far, far less than the amount of, of in positive impact that you're gonna be making on others and the amount of you know, praise, uh, good, good feedback you're gonna get from others. So, but the way that we human beings are wired, the way that we have evolved is to pay attention to the negative feedback we get far, far more than the positive feedback we're getting. Now, uh, if you haven't read about this, um, what I understand is that the reason why is our ancestors, think of it this way, okay, as a, you know, some, as, an, as an ancestor who is like just trying to survive in the jungles, right? When you come across um, a piece of fruit that is good, you're like eating, oh, that's great, wonderful. And then, but when you hear a branch snap, that could be a predator, you give your full attention to that because it is far more dangerous, it is far more important to not get eaten than it is to find good things to eat. So that's how we evolved because the, the dangers are far more important than the good things that we encounter in everyday life, those things we can take for granted because those things won't kill us. You know, where, and, and lack of fruit, you know, lack of food won't kill us immediately, we'll die slowly, but a predator who poses immediate danger to us, which is otherwise known as bad feedback, will instantly kill us. So that's why we evolved to pay a lot more attention to the one negative feedback and take for granted the, the hundred other positive feedback that we're getting, okay? So, <laughs> now that you know that that's how we're wired, you can more consciously uh, pay attention to the amount of attention you're getting to negative feedback and ask yourself, again, conscious living means you're conscious of how you're living, right? And conscious of how, where you're, where you're investing, where you are investing your energy and your, and your attention, ask yourself, is this negative feedback being helpful? Is it being constructive? Is it something that I can gen that I believe? Yes, that's true. I can genuinely grow from this and then learn from it. Okay. And then once you harvest the benefit of it, discard the shell of the feedback, the hard shell. And just, you know, because that's how we usually, you know, how we usually consume things are good for us. We discard the hard shell and we just benefit from the, you know, the, the, the fruit that's inside, okay? Um, now, there are two types of internet criticism. One type, which unfortunately is getting more and more common, is trolling or trolls, and you may have heard of this. Um, trolls are basically people who are often anonymous, so you'll find this a lot on Twitter and on YouTube comments, uh, anonymous people who are just spreading negativity and oftentimes they try to sound smart like oh I know I know something about what you're talking about what you're writing about so I'm gonna try to be smart and, and sarcastic and and often biting okay um, so they are trolls are usually people who themselves are are miserable people they're just they're not happy with their life but they find excitement by offloading their negativity onto the internet and it makes them feel good about themselves. So that's what trolls are and trolls unfortunately are an increasing percentage of 
society because our society because uh, there's a lot for people not to be happy with economic downturn you know economic reasons or or social isolation uh, and people are just you know anxious and depressed and they off or angry and they offload their negativity very easily on on Twitter and on YouTube uh, in the in the comment sections and occasionally also on Facebook. Now there's less negativity on Facebook because Facebook uh, quickly deletes uh, fake profiles whenever they they find them. Uh, but that's not always the case. Um, you know. Sometimes there's still fake profiles that will spew negative comments on your stuff. But even people, some people uh, will also post be trolls even with their real profiles. And that always is amazing to me because people, some people just don't mind being seen as being mean spirited and callous. They just don't mind. I, I don't get it, but they don't mind. They, um, and it tends to be men, some women too, but. Uh, it tends to be men, and um, it's basically narcissistic uh, personalities that tend to not be not be uh, to be okay with being mean spirited and callous, especially with their real profiles. Okay, so that's the one that's one type of internet criticism, um, which you should delete and ban right away. By the way, <laughs> speaking of negative negative criticism, I noticed that this video is uh is one of my least popular videos i just i can tell based on the number of live people people coming on and leaving right away um i guess this is a hard topic for most of you right to think about oh i don't want to think about online criticism i don't want, you know but once you experience it hopefully you'll come back here and and find some comfort and find some encouragement so when you when you get online criticism um delete it and ban it right away if it is trolls, meaning if it's people who are just spewing negativity without, without you, you can tell the difference between someone who is really trying to have a discussion, who honestly would would like to, to know what you think and to, to honestly share what they think and hopefully do it in a respectful way versus somebody who is just, they're having a bad day or they're having a, having a bad life and just want to spew negativity. Um, the thing about online, uh, the thing about negative comments is that it tends to discourage positive comments. Okay, it will discourage positive people who would like to comment uh, or even comment thoughtfully, and it will discourage them from doing so. Just that one negative comment will discourage lots of positive comments. So, delete negative comments that are not constructive and not respectful, and ban them from your page so that they don't even have a chance to do it again. It's totally fine, and don't respond to them at all. Don't message them. Oh, I'm sorry, I banned you from my page, and please know that this was a, no, no, no. Don't, don't even. There, there, there's no need at all to give any energy to to the trolls. Now, like I said, there's a second type of negative comment, which is somebody who is actually trying to respectfully disagree and share. They, they, they could just. I say they could simply say, I respectfully disagree, and that's fine. That's great, and you keep them there, and you can reply and say thank you for your. You know, for your respectful disagreement. Uh, if they are angry about something you said, and they said, you know, I'm really, I really disagree with this because I got hurt in this way, or or people are getting hurt, or whatever it is, and and they're not trying to be a troll. They just are really sharing their anger, but they're just not, they're not doing it in a very skillful way. They're just, they're angry and they're just reacting, and especially if it's someone you know, you know, um, you can reply and says, hey, I I, I appreciate your anger, or you know, I appreciate your disagreement. Um, I don't see it that way. And uh, and if they if they didn't do it in a respectful way, you might want to mention the tones. Like you know, um, in the future, it'd be great if you you could share your disagreement in a in a more um, respectful way. Since this is my page, and you know, um, I get I have to moderate these comments. Um, so uh, here's here's the bottom line I want to share. I want to say about this. Ban the trolls and love the critics. Ban the trolls and love the critics. Very simple mantra to remember. Just delete and ban the trolls right away. And love the critics. Uh, the critics that are disagreeing with you, um, whether or not they're doing it respectfully, if you feel like they are being genuine in their disagreement, rather than just offering negativity, you, you simply try to love them. Try to provide a safe space for them to share what their, what their, what their disagreement is 
and and just and and when you can, when you are feeling able to, uh, you might want to mention their tone, um, whether their tone is good. Appreciate good tone, and uh, call out the, the the tone that tends to shut down conversation. But again, that's only for people who you feel are being genuine in having a discussion, rather than the trolls who are just offloading negativity and being just yeah you know just being being negative that's all so um let's see what else do i want to say oh i i also want to just end the video by talking about the the higher purpose of online discussion okay this is something that a lot of people don't understand in my opinion and this is my opinion i don't think the higher purpose of online discussions is truth now you might say how could that be uh, we all we're all trying to find the truth Yes, we're all trying to find the truth, of course, right? But truth is only that which can be validated by scientific study or investigation. Truth is something that's provable that everybody can 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 investigate and and discover and say, okay, that's that makes sense. So there might be a Wikipedia article. Wikipedia is a is a a great um, way to bring evidence into a discussion because Wikipedia is well regarded. It is open source, which means people can edit it, you know, and there's moderators that moderate it. Wikipedia, is, I know some people might disagree with me on Wikipedia because there's some things like, like spiritual topics, which Wikipedia constantly shuts down. So, oh, these are not true. So, but, okay, so, so, so this is why I feel like the, the higher purpose of online discussion is not truth. It's personal growth. Okay. Because truth um, can be... There are some discussions where you can't even talk about truth, like spiritual spirituality. You can't talk about truth because it's not scientifically provable right now. There is no scientific method that can prove, um, you know, the spirit world. Uh, I mean, some people would disagree with me. I happen to believe there is a spirit world, but the mainstream science, which is make Wikipedia, which is what's easily pull things you could pull up and easily respectable cannot doesn't have a method to prove spiritual matters yet okay so so when you're having online discussions about spirituality religion politics you know even relationships or the, even mental health um you're not really talking about truth you're talking about opinions and so most online discussions are about opinions they, they're not provable discussions so that's why I think that all of us should take on this idea, in my opinion, that the, the higher purpose of any online discussion is personal growth rather than truth. Personal growth is basically being mindful of how we are approaching the discussion and seeing how we can learn something from it, number one. And number two, how we can practice saying something. Because the more we practice saying something and sharing our experiences and sharing our opinions in an authentic way, the more we grow as people, the more we um, practice our authentic, practice living into authentic confidence, right? Which is why I always, I always talk about the importance of creating content because it, it, it is practicing your authentic confidence and also helping you explore your opinions, okay? which is important for you to think through things, right? And becoming more thoughtfully opinionated, okay? So personal growth is um, mindfulness of your reactions to other people's discussions and how you can bring more love and care into things and also practicing your own authentic expression and, and being bold, practice being bold, right? So that's really, I think, the higher purpose of, of online discussions is, is personal growth. Um, also, uh, knowing that, then you're also being mindful of other people's personal growth, which means giving the safety to others for sharing their authentic opinion and creating a nurturing environment for that. So um, if we keep these things in mind, then we can really have online discussions that help everybody. It's not, again, it's not about who's right, who has the truth. Because again, if you're just being smart and go, I have the truth, here's what's true, I think you're missing the bigger point of online discussions which is, and the bigger point of life, which is not to show people you're right, but to show people you're loving. That's the bigger point of life. 
and the bigger point of life beyond above that showing people you're loving might just be virtue signaling which is like the lack the opposite of humility right but the bigger purpose of life i think is personal growth and personal growth involves learning how to show people that you care and learning how to express your truth not your truth i always i don't like that term your truth because it disrespects the truth which is provable reality so i like to say your opinion okay which is which is important okay so um i hope this is helpful i hope this helps us all bring our best or uh, try to bring our best selves to online discussions not to try to see who's right yes we can try to figure out what is the truth that with a capital t something that's verifiable by everybody usually through the scientific method um uh but whether it's opinion or or, or truth discussions let's come to it with the realization that it's about personal growth it's about mindfulness it's about showing people it's about finding a, a caring container it's about creating a caring container for others to, to 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 work on their personal growth to share their opinions okay so i hope this helps and uh thanks for those who are willing to to, to join me on this journey um uh alicia sabine elisa and kim uh, karen uh, and thanks, Elisa, for your comments there. I miss, she says, I missed the art of good conversation. Yeah. So uh, if you have any, any opinions about this stuff, please go ahead and comment below if you have any questions. I look forward to it as well. And until the next video, I wish you uh, the mindfulness about your personal growth and the other, other, person, the other people's personal growth in online discussions. Be well.